Okay, so here's a Pro Tools trick that I use a lot. So likely when you're sending out mixes to your clients, they likely are going to want some changes. And so you'll get emails back from them and they'll likely be like, hey, at 28 seconds, I'd like a little more vocal or guitar or bass or something like that. And the problem is when you're dealing within your sessions, uh, your minutes and seconds start from the very beginning and you can't change that in Pro Tools. So uh, normally when you're trying to figure out, okay, they said at two minutes, 13 seconds, you have to find out um, roughly how many seconds that is and constantly be doing math to find the other sections in your song. So something that I do that helps a lot is when we go to do changes, um, I will find the very beginning of where I printed the, uh, the music file in the session and I will make that zero on the time code meter. So uh, if you don't use the time code, you can show that by just clicking up in this ruler selector and choosing a time code. And then if you go up to setup, you can say current time code position. And what I do is I just zero it out right where it starts. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to show minutes and seconds and my main counter. And if you only see one time frame here, you can um, click here where it'll say show sub counter. And then I can say time code. And you can see now it's zeroed out and I just ignore the one at the beginning. So now if they said two minutes and 13 seconds, I could actually come over here and say two, 13. And now I'm at two minutes and 13 seconds on their mix that they have and be able to check out exactly where they're at. So I find that super helpful. Uh, if you like these videos, please like and subscribe. Join my mailing list if you'd like to get access to my exclusive content and we'll catch you later.